This video will show you how to use Google Sheets to make a graph for use in science class. Here we have three rows of data. The first row is our x value, which is our manipulated variable, also called the independent variable. And we have a series of numbers going from 1 to 10. In our second column, column B, we have our first responding or dependent variable. And our uh, third row, column C, we have our second set of dependent variable. So this could be data perhaps uh, collected during an experiment when you record the temperature at different times. So our manipulated variable, our independent variable, would be the time of the recording. And then these two columns, column B and C, would be the temperatures of, let's say, two cups of water uh, during our experiments. To create a graph, first we need to highlight the cells with the data. Then we click on Insert, Chart. Google automatically suggested that we use a chart with dots. However, we could change it to a chart with a line. However, for most science classes, it is recommended that you graph it or you use a graph with dots. There are other things that we need to change or set up in this graph to make it fit most science classes. We go to Customize, Chart Axis and Table. Right now, it's missing a Y or vertical axis table. So we could add in, let's say, for example, Y values. Or you could type in whatever, whatever words that would properly describe the Y axis. We also need to change the chart title to something a little bit more descriptive than Y1 and Y2 as a title. Another thing we need to change is the series. We need to add in a trend line. A trend line here is a linear line that averages out the dots. In some classes, it is known as a line of best fit. Right now, both the blue line and the red line is set as a linear line, a straight line. However, if the data suggests that it's not linear, you could change it to any of these options. However, for most science classes, it should be a linear line. Another important thing to add is the label. Right now, there's no labels. However, in physics classes, it's really important and useful to add in the equation. And what this means is that it will show you the equation of the blue line in slope-intercept form, in y equals mx plus b form. And now we know the slope of the blue line is 1.02, and the slope of the red line is 0.521. You can use the value of these slopes to calculate the variables or the data that you're looking for in your experiment. So those are the key things that you need to change in a graph. Feel free to change and look at any of the other uh, variables in a graph to fit your needs.